The five biggest questions when it comes to buying a wedge for your golf bag, I've got you covered. Let's go through them. Number one, what loft should you choose? So the loft, the angle of the face, what loft should you be putting in your bag? This is important that it fits with the part of your bag it touches. So what that means is if you stop at a pitching wedge in your set of clubs, the next club you buy, let's say is a 52 degree wedge, which some people might call a gap wedge, does that cross over with your wedge? So does it go the same distance and a bit shorter? Ideally it does, it kind of blends with it. Then the next wedges you buy will be subject to what you want to do with it. So if you want to have a 60 degree wedge, so the most lofted one, so a real bent back lofted one because it's good for getting out of trouble and good for going over bunkers, out of bunkers, where however you might use it, you'll go from 60 degrees and fill the gaps up to whatever that last iron in your set is. For lots of people, it's two to three wedges, to be fair. Bounce, what is bounce? Huge question, so bounce is the, how far back the back end of the club is below the front end of the club when you set it up. That's basically what bounce is. Is it something you should consider when buying your wedge? Yes, it is. But remember, bounce is dynamic. So if I was to play wedge shots where I open the face up, it makes this end go lower, so the bounce increases. If I de-loft a wedge shot to hit it in lower, then that bounce decreases. Bounce is dynamic, so you want to look at how you're playing your wedge. Are you someone who twists it around a lot or not? If you are, you would want a more robust wedge, so in a medium kind of area, and then you would want some carving round of the back, which they would call um, grinding on the back, so bounce and grinding. Bounce is definitely something you should consider when it comes to your wedges, but I wouldn't go too far down the rabbit hole because subject to how you play them, you are gonna be manipulating that bounce more than you think. What gap wedges should you have in your set of wedges? Again, this depends on where your iron's finish. If you finish at a nine iron or a pitching wedge, not all pitching wedges in your golf sets are lofted the same. There are stronger ones and weaker ones. So going on a company website, looking at the loft of your pitching wedge, hitting some shots with that club, seeing how far it goes, and then taking some yardage off there with a gap wedge would be a great way of kind of stepping your irons. You've got to blend it into your last club out of your set. Do you really need a lob wedge? So the most lofted ones, and not everybody does need a lob wedge. When my daughter played golf, she started, and I just gave her a 56 degree standard sand wedge and got her to open faces up. I didn't give her a lob wedge at the start. I wasn't sure she was gonna play, didn't wanna spend the money, and I wanted her to manipulate the clubs around. I have a lob wedge, and you'll find most good players have lob wedges because it is a tool that can be used. So if you're playing and you are you know, playing weekly and you wanna get better, having that extra loft option is just a real good key for lots of golfers. If you're beginning, it's not the first club I would buy, but if you're out there playing, getting the most lofted 58, 60 degrees, those kind of clubs can be really useful. What finish should you buy? You're gonna notice they come in different finishes, these kind of gum metal, and then you have these satiny ones, and then you have the chrome, more chrome finishes. So much of that is gonna be personal preference what you like the look of. You have a little bit of glare relief when you go into the darker ones, so in the black ones. So if the sun hits it, it's not gonna get you in the eye as much, but I don't know hardly any golfers who have had that as a serious issue. When it comes to the finish, go very much with what, you know, really takes your fancy in the looks. Like when I look at this one in the dark finish, I look at that and think, yeah, really like the look of that. The other thing you might wanna coincide it with again is your iron set if you've got an iron set that's chromed you might want it to run through or you might want your wedges to stand out so fixing it or coordinating it with the clubs you've already got in your bag might be an option but i wouldn't lose sleep over finishes on a wedge